and they was like, no way. This this is not going to work, you know, like people will sit on the side of the road, they'll end up, you know, throwing up because it's too much carb to get in. On average, you know, what does a what does a rider's daily nutrition look like for, for someone at that level? It's, it's it's actually a very hard question to answer because the differences are so big on a on a day to day basis. You know, especially when we're doing uh, a good example is is the classics where you would do, you know, a a big day where it might be like five to six thousand uh, calories on the bike, and then you will have two days where you do maybe an hour ride to the cafe and have a, a coffee and then back. So on those days, it might be like 300 or 500. So I think it, it, it's very, very hard to sort of say, oh, this is what's standard. Um, and I, th I think that's also, you know, historically, bike riders, they would eat a lot and they would be way under fueled on big days and they would be way over fueled on, on easy days. Um, whereas now, you know, the smarter we've gotten, we can sort of see that, okay, maybe it's better to actually try and, and match the energy intake with the, with the output. Um, so today it's, it's very hard to say what they, what they eat on average, but like when we do the, the tour de France, uh, anything from like 15 grams of, of carbs per kilo up towards like above 20 grams per kilo uh, on, on the stages is, is, is pretty normal. Um, and, and, you know, putting that into food, it's, it's a, a lot of rice and pasta if you have to just eat it that way. Um, so, you know, I've, I've been in cycling for 20 years. Um, when I first started in cycling, you know, having 30 grams of carbs per hour, that was, you know, that was the gold standard. And <laughs> then, you know, a few years later, some crazy people, they were like pushing 60 every hour and they was like, no way, this, this is not going to work. You know, like people will sit on the side of the road, they'll end up, you know, throwing up because it's too much carb to get in. Um, and then after that, I think it was like, was it 2018 when Chris Froome won the Giro and they published that study and he did 90 grams an hour yeah. and people were like, that's, you know, out of this world, 90 grams an hour. How can you do that? And now, you know, like we have this one drink from endurance and it's, it's 90 grams of carbs in, in one bottle and people are, you know, especially in colder races where you don't drink so much people are happily drinking a 90 gram bottle and then topping up with a gel to get to like 120 grams an hour. So I think actually bike riders might eat less food now than they did in the past because they're fueling so much better and more efficiently on the bike. Um, you know, first of all, there's been a, a lot of science done in it, but also just that there's like the products that we use on the bike now, they are, complete different quality compared to what they used to be. Uh, you see far less people having, you know, upset stomach and stuff like that, because we actually have drinks and gels and stuff like that, that works well and are tolerated in those high amounts that the riders need. 